Uh, we constantly fool ourselves by calling ourselves the giant of Africa. Those who are giant of Africa, they truly know themselves and they don't make noise. Ford uh, Motor Company is, is investing 5.2 billion rand into its South African silver tin production plant. They're going to start production. Uh, they are going to start producing the first ever Ranger plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, targeting energy self-sufficiency by 2025. There is a bigger plan for Ford to bring nine new car models to market in South Africa. They will also be exporting these car models to Europe and for the first time in 20 years, also to New Zealand and Australia. The silver tin plant has been operational since 1967. The plant is 156,942 uh, square meter in size and the company has 5,200 employees in South Africa. Ford celebrates its 100th uh, anniversary in South Africa this year. The first Ford South Africa assembly uh, plant opened in Gebeha, I don't know whether I pronounced that right, in 1923. It was the first assembly line of any kind in Africa. In 1923, the company produced 10 vehicles per day. Today, the Silverton production plant produces 720 vehicles per day, the highest when compared to any original equipment manufacturer in South Africa. BMW made a substantial investment of 4.2 billion rand into their Roslyn Pretoria manufacturing plant a few months back to make electric cars. BMW has been in South Africa for 50 years. Their investment will be made over five years and they produce the BM, BMW X3 that is exclusively manufactured in South Africa and shipped to the rest of the world. It's great to see government supporting the automotive sector with incentives that are encouraging all of its investment. South Africans don't have two heads. They are our mates. We are even supposed to be better, bigger and better than them. But yet, we have crippled ourselves. It is crawling that we now crawl. Our own government, all they are doing is that they are carrying money to go and buy cars for themselves and their wives. Yeah, that's what they are doing. To buy cars for themselves and their wives. Locks, what they will just eat, eat, eat. They don't know how to produce. They don't know how to give back. See this one. So by carrying that money, now what you effectively do is that you will now carry that money. You will now go and it's as if you are importing, you are exporting uh, jobs and then importing an employment. Because the people you are carrying, going, going to buy those things for, it's an opportunity for their people to be employed. And yet all the time we are crying of un unemployment. We are crying of poverty. We are cry crying of bankruptcy and all of that. Yet we do not make the right choices. And some people think that it is by carrying a bada uh, that they use wood to 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 to, to, to mask the smell. That's how you go and be looking for investors. The smell of poverty will follow you. The person that's supposed to invest will not invest. By the time they see there's nothing in you. Investors, eh? You don't need to win investors, self. They know where the place is. That's that's the essence of being an investor. They know the place that they are supposed to go and invest. They are the ones that will be sniffing around and looking for the right places to go. They are on where you even have the judiciary today. It's under the arm of the executive. So that somebody will bring their money and then the government will decide to do one, to run mad, to do one nonsense. Before you know what's happening, the judiciary is also supporting them. Some people sit down and tell you that, oh, whoever is president doesn't matter. Uh, the political leaders don't matter. Leadership is the citizens that matter. Oh, she. Let's continue the hypocrisy. We'll continue to be behind while we watch other countries continue to excel. Those who are excelling, they don't have two heads. They only sit down and ensure that they do the right thing. And as long as we don't do the right thing in our country, no matter how much we pray, no result will come out. Because like I always say, God will not do for us what he has given us the capacity to do for ourselves.
Thank you.